you know, the Bible says that interest eats up the fruit of your labor. So my dad took me to the bank when I was little and he said, look at this. You know how we have linoleum floors at our house? They have marble. He says, look at the ceilings. Look at the tile. This is unbelievable. And he, he showed me the ink pen. He said, it's got a chain. They won't even let you steal the ink pen. This is These at guys the bank. At the bank. Yeah. He says, they won't help us at all. So he says, I'm going to show you how to get out of debt. So he had a meeting with us and he said, what we're going to do is we're not going to have a Christmas this year, which I'm like, what? He said, no, we're not. You know, we, we were down the road further. Now we're doing better. And he goes, we're actually going to take all the money we have. We're going to have a yard sale and sell everything that we have on the inside. I'm going to sell my motorcycle. I was afraid he was going to put us on Craigslist. Or something. <laughs> and so he got rid of the debt at a rapid reduction. So now none of the interest went away. Mm -hmm. And then what he did, after 22 months, he took the title deed to that same bank and said, hey, I want to buy a piece of land to build a church. And he built a church without the help or the aid of any organization that now is a 20,000 member church because of the seeds that he sowed. So I'm standing on my dad's shoulders yeah. today uh, by beating bankers at their own game. And so, you know, I think that's the thing is people can, can do all the great things that all the great Christ followers are watching today. And they want to do more to help the poor. They want to give, they want to be charitable, but they can't because the, the interest, again, the Bible said is being stolen by people who really shouldn't have it.